now uh, we have to find out uh, n years the problem is the same but here we have to find n years not r percent r percent is given so now another type uh, a sum of money uh, triples a uh, sum of money uh, triples uh, itself in n years at 10 percent per annum find n means at in how many years it would become uh, uh, three times of itself so again uh, the second problem how many years will it take for uh, for for money to double at the effective rate of six percent uh, we are not uh, we have not been asked to find the effective rate of interest here the effective rate of interest is uh, six percent itself it is already given it is six percent instead of writing the rate percent uh, uh, they have written effective rate of six per effective rate that is six percent so we are we haven't been asked to find out the effective rate of interest only it has been written effective rate okay so means the uh, the rate is itself effective uh, effective rate now you see uh, how a sum of money triples uh, itself a sum of money triples uh, itself in n years uh, at 10 percent per annum find n and again here in how many years will uh, will how many years will it take for money to double uh, become double of it so again it uh, doesn't matter uh, it is triple three times uh, two times four times five times doesn't matter uh, uh, the method of uh, calculating n does not change here only the value of amount uh, is changed so in how many years will an amount uh, double itself at eight percent interest compounded annually so when it is uh, asked uh, that uh, find out n then what to do the same method uh, we assume that uh, principal is p we may use 100 also instead of uh, p but the result would be the same means here we will get two only so we have assumed that principal is p it is not known and if principal is p it has to be double of it this means the amount would be 2p so now we use the formula of compound interest rate we write p here we write uh, a is equal to p 1 plus r raised to the power n now uh, we write here we take this p uh, on the left hand side as a denominator we cut p by p and we f we have only two here on the left hand side now uh, this we we solve it uh, we get 108 upon 100 raised to the power n we don't know this n we have to find out this n so now uh, if we uh, simplify it, it becomes 54 uh, upon 50 raised to the power n then what to do with this how to solve this how to solve this we we take log so we take log uh, on left hand side and on right hand side when we take log uh, because it is in division so log a minus log b it is the rule so log a means log 54 and uh, log b means minus log 50 so we take log of 54 and log of 50 and then we take log of 2 so this is the value we subtract we find out this and then this value would become the denominator here we divide it by uh, this value and the approximate value comes 9 years so how it is done let's have the calculator here how to find out so you see uh, log 54 so firstly we take the value of a uh, log of uh, 54 so this is the value 1.7323 uh, it is 9 that I have taken 4 uh, instead of 3 so 1 point this is the value I have written this is the value of log 54 now minus then log 50 take 
log of 50 so firstly write 50 then take log so this is the value 1.69897 so now we have to subtract this value from this and we get this now we have to take log of uh, 2 so write 2 press log so this is the value log uh, uh, value of log 2 we write it here and we divide this value by the because it is in multiplication uh, we divide it becomes the denominator here when we solve when we solve we write this value that is point uh, zero three three four three so what we get it is nine point zero zero four years so it is nearly uh, nine years so this is uh, this is the method through which uh, we can find out mm, uh, number of years uh, taken by a certain sum to become double, triple, uh, quadruple, uh, n times of itself. So I think I have made it clear. So uh, thank you.